And the National Union of Mine Workers are painting the streets of Gauteng red in their plight to ensure their members are well taken care of. Hundreds of members are calling on Sibanye Stillwater and Harmony Gold Mines to prioritize the well-being of workers and ensure better working conditions. ENCA reporter Heidi Jokos is on the ground tracking these developments and will cross live to her now. Good afternoon to you, Heidi, and uh, just to give us a sense uh, of the number of participants, uh, just a rough estimate and uh, pr primarily what their concerns are. Yes, um, Cindy, we currently are in Cartonville at the moment where we do understand that uh, I would say a, quite a large number of NUM members uh, are marching to the Cartonville Civic Center um, to hand over a memorandum to Sibanye Stillwater as well as Harmony Gold. This all in relation to really trying to get these two mining companies to listen to the concerns of uh, NUM and the concerns here are the safety of mine workers. They believe that there are just too many deaths happening in the mines and they do uh, believe that something more needs to be done to address this. This is quite a volatile sector at the moment given what happened um, at one of the mines uh, a few weeks ago, Cindy, where we do know that uh, willingly or unwillingly miners were held hostage uh, around certain mining issues and Amku, another mine, uh, another union rather wanting to be acknowledged as the main um, union in that particular mine. Uh, so this this sector uh, is a bit of a, a worrying one at the moment, especially because Sibania did announce about 4,000 job cuts uh, that are going to take place. Uh, we also know that Impala Platinum announced that it will be offering voluntary severance packages to mine workers. We're not sure how many jobs are going to be cut in terms of Impala platinum but uh, it's a sector that's obviously uh, struggling at the moment there are a number of issues uh, that are at play here not just the issues around safety but this particular march wants to focus on the safety of mine workers and uh, what mining companies are doing to keep workers safe and to avoid these mining accidents that do happen that claim the lives of uh, a number of mine workers so NUM has decided to uh, paint the town red as you mentioned in your in your introduction that uh, they really want uh, something to be done about this so I would say a large number has decided to come out in support of this particular march and to hand over its memorandum yeah and uh, Heidi of course there will be economic implications as well as you were saying the volatility of uh, the sector let alone at the uh, export or outputs that they probably will not be able uh, to meet based on various other uh, contributing factors but nonetheless, the safety of miners, of course, is very paramount. In terms of just the uh, mine, uh, the mine uh, bosses or the owners, were you able to get a response from them in terms of how this, the strike or the march is impacting on their productivity? Uh, not as yet. I'm hoping that we might get a response when the memorandum is handed over uh, when we reach uh, the Civic Center. But I would imagine, Cindy, that at this point it's not uh, any huge impact in terms of production. It's uh, just union members that probably aren't on shift at the moment. It doesn't seem as though there is any impact to production in terms of uh, these two mining companies that uh, Noom wants the attention of, which is Sibanya Stillwater and Harmony Gold. Uh, but Absolutely, we should be getting a response in terms of other issues that are affecting uh, these two companies. As I mentioned, Sibania is planning to cut 4,000 jobs and close some of uh, its shafts. We do know that uh, commodity prices haven't been at, at, the, at their greatest, uh, really affecting uh, platinum prices. So uh, you have an issue also around demand and supply, which uh, affects production of mining companies. So uh, they definitely definitely are probably feeling the heat um, and something that obviously needs to be uh, addressed. 4,000 jobs is, is a very large number and uh, if I'm not mistaken it was either last year, Cindy, or the year before, I, I do think it was last year, where Sibanye had a massive um, strike action where workers were not at work for some time. I think that strike ran into the weeks So, uh, and that was also because of a number of job cuts that were
were at play there. Um, big issues. Uh, we see this happening every now and then, especially um, in these uh, mining companies where workers really express uh, their frustrations and try and put pressure on these mining companies uh, through protest action and these marches. But this one seems to be a fairly peaceful one. Uh, as I've mentioned, it's specifically to address the issue of safety of workers, as there have been a number of um, uh, um, there have been a number of uh, deaths that have been taking place, and uh, Num specifically wants this to be addressed. That's ENCA reporter Heidi Jockers. Thank you so much for your time.